Well, good morning. Here's me, Rob Carrington, and I'm here with the birds. Can you hear the birds singing? <laughs> Ain't no sunshine out today. It's just me and my flower sitting inside my window. There's the bird singing. I ain't, I ain't here just with my flower. I'm here with a word to tell you. You can make it through this day. There's a way because there is the way. And, um, and the way is the one who said I am. The way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And you know who said that? Jesus, the Son of God, who made you and me. Knitted us together in our mother's womb. Can you still hear those birds? I encourage you to be an encourager. And that's why I quote from God's Word, Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. If I zoom in on the top of that apple tree, there's two robins on the top of it. Let's see. I gotta think. I think I gotta move this way. Where we go? Stay there, robins. Yeah. Yeah. See that robin there? <laughs> yeah. I think there's another. Another bird up there, too. He's gone to the birds. Oh, that one, one just flew down. One robin's still up there. Well, rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And I just want to say, if you're joining me today for the first time, uh, maybe you, you, maybe I hope you're not stumbling to the slaughter. Those who stumble to the slaughter, I believe, are those who commit suicide and they don't know what they're doing, they're not thinking right. And if that's you, you gotta start thinking right. You gotta listen around you because there's new mercies. There's, there's good to see, put your mind on it. And the Word of God is the best to see that we see now because when we look at the Word of God, that's the closest right now we're coming to seeing Jesus Christ who is called the Word. In the Gospel of John I've been studying. Let me bring it back here. The birds are gone. Just bring it back to me and my flower. Yes, that's the flower that I, when I went to church this Sunday, that was for my wife for Mother's Day. It was very nice they did that and gave a gift certificate too. I couldn't believe it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Now, back to, to uh, Jesus who said, I am the way and the truth and the life. He gives us a way because he is the way. And he is the way to the Father, a relationship with God. And we talked about a relationship here in the Gospel of John. John who knew Jesus and saw him dead and saw him risen from the dead and was able to touch Jesus after he rose from the dead. He, he wrote this being moved by the Holy Spirit that Jesus told him while Jesus was with him, you're going to receive the Holy Spirit that will remind you of everything that I have said to you. And that's what happened here. And John was able to write this approximately 50 years after he saw Jesus ascend into heaven where Jesus is now and he will come again to save those who believe in him as God, Lord and Savior. And in John 1, 1 it says, this is, a, I've said it 50,000 times I think in my message, we ought, everyone ought to know this is a memory verse now. In the beginning was the Word, and that's Jesus, he is the Word. He is the spoken Word, he is he is the one who created this word that I'm reading, the word of God. And I believe that's one reason he's called the word. 
and he he's called the word because he spoke creation into existence in the beginning again John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God there's a relationship of the word being with God Jesus being with God from eternity a relationship in that relationship of the Father the Son Jesus and the Holy Spirit and we saw the Holy Spirit we mentioned in other message that he's he's in the book of Genesis and he's hovering over the waters I believe as we if you want to go back to Genesis chapter 1 there's a relationship between God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and he desires to bring us into that relationship and that's why Jesus came to this earth to be a man and to be God at the same time and go to the cross bearing the sins of the world were laid on him so if I go to another memory verse that you sh we should have and I believe that's John 8 12 Gospel of John 8 12 again Jesus spoke to them saying I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life again memory verse make it your memory verse John 8 12 again Jesus spoke to them saying I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life and he's speaking these to people who did not believe in him and if you don't want to walk in darkness you don't want to walk in sin I know I don't I've been in darkness in my past part of my life and it's not fun to have hopelessness well follow Jesus and you will not have hopelessness follow him obey him listen to him you listen to him in his word the word of God he is called the word he created this word through men like John he moved by the Holy Spirit and you will not walk in darkness, but you will walk in light. And you go on farther in this, and this is John 8, 8, 18. It says, Jesus said this, I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. That's his Father, the Father God. Jesus is the Son of God. And he is not created, all right? Going back to John 1.1, 1, 1, this is an important fact. You remember about John 1.1, 1, 1, where it says, where, where, the, where, it, where it's written, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There are some translation, there's one translation out there that's wrong, and it says this, and the word was a God. There's no A put in this in the original Greek that John wrote. It shouldn't be there. And why they put that the word is a God is they're trying to pass the false doctrine that Jesus was created by God the Father. And that is a lie. That is not the truth. That's not what the Bible teaches. Jesus, the Son of God, was not created by God the Father. It's not like our earthly relationships of, I have a father and a mother. Not like that at all. Jesus is God, God the Son. He was not created. The Greek does not call for that, that indefinite article, A, to be there. All right, it's not there, it doesn't call for it, and it's improper to put a, the word a God, that the word was a God. If you're following a faith that has that in the Bible and believes in it, get out of it. And that's one way to test a church. If you're looking for a church to attend, a group of believers to attend, ask them, what do you believe about this, this scripture? See the Bible they're using. And it should say, this for John 1 1 in the beginning was 
the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It should definitely proclaim that Jesus, the Word, He was with God, He has been eternally with God, and He is God. All right? And I think I've said enough today. <laughs> Uh, so, oh no, I wanted to go quickly. All right, this is uh, this is from. We don't know who wrote this book in the Bible. It's Lamentations in the old, old in the Old Testament, chapter three. It's talking. Uh, I believe it was Jeremiah, God's prophet Jeremiah, that wrote this. But it's he doesn't claim that he wrote this. But he, in this hard time that uh, Israel, the people that God chose uh, to create. <laughs> to proclaim him to the world. Well, they weren't not proclaiming uh, to the world the God. They were going and following false gods. And they were going away from God. And God allowed a hard time to come upon them. And it, it was during this hard time that uh, God allowed or he caused it. A hard time to come up upon those believe th those people, his people, that, that he created the people of Israel. Uh, who were falling away from him, he warned them, repent and come back to me. But they didn't. He warned them for decades. But they didn't. So they, the hard time came. But in that hard time, you've got hard time, I've got hard times that come. All right, we've got to put your mind on the right thing. And this is what Jeremiah reminds us. Put your mind on God, who will show you the way out of darkness, who will show you the right way to go. That's why he's called the light. He'll show you his way. That's the only way to go. Because he created us. He knows the best way for us to live. So Jer Lamentations chapter 3 verse 21. But this I call to mind. And therefore I have hope. So the writer of this word. He's, he, 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 before that. It mentioned, it's in the verse before that 19. It says remembering my affliction and my wandering. He's remembering that. The wormwood and the gall, the bitter times of his life he's remembering. My soul continually remembers it and is bowed down within me. He's, he's in despair. But this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness and that's from lamentations chapter 3 verses 21 especially i started with but this i call to mind let your mind go to to god's word to him who loves you has a steadfast love verses 21 to 23 i was reading to you and every day god gives mercy so they are new every morning the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. <laughs> that blessing and that bird, that's a blessing. That's a mercy, I believe, given to, to us to brighten our day. Great is your favor. God is a never-ending never love. Let's pray. God, I just thank you for creating your birds <laughs> that you gave them a song to sing. And I thank you, Jesus. I thank you that you came out of eternity. You're ex existing forever with the Father and the Holy Spirit in a relationship. And you want us to join that relationship with you so that we can know your love, be loved, in love, in, 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 in love, Lord. Because for God, the Bible, you tell us in the Word, you are love. I thank you, Jesus. You loved us so much. You outstretched, you had your arms outstretched and nailed on a cross and your feet nailed to a cross after being tortured. And you took the sins of the world upon yourself, were laid on you by the, even by the Father who wants us to, a, to relationship, who sent his own son to die in our place, to take the penalty of death that we deserve for our own sin. I thank you, Jesus, that you did that. Thank you for dying in my place with my sin. 
Yes, Lord Jesus, I thank you that you rose from the dead. You defeated death. And you rose from the dead. And you live today. Live in. Live in us, Lord Jesus, through your Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Rule our life and reign our life. Show us purpose and meaning in this day. This dark day of rain. <laughs> and uh, may we see your mercy still and your, and your goodness in it. And your beauty in it. And hear the birds sing and rejoice in you and, and to know the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being with me. And remember, Jesus loves you. And remember those Bible verses because they put our, our mind on God. Jesus, who is the Word, who gave us this Word to show us the way to Him. It's your life. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.